hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to upload files in ASP.NET MVC file for this application I am creating a new project go to file new project ASP.NET web application .NET framework and the version 4.61 and the application name is file upload okay I notice here in the template section I have a MVC file but I want to create MVC file so for this moment I'm choosing MVC file. after that I will add the MVC file template into my application click OK here the file upload project has been created go to solution explorer I want to store files or images in a special folder so the file uploader project name right click add new folder files upload after that expand the views and notice here the home folder which contains some view pages which are the default ones but I am deleting the home folder ok as well as the controllers I am expanding and notice here the home controllers I am deleting this one also up to now we have created one new files uploader folder and we deleted the default view and the controller now I am creating a new controller MVC file in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller and this is the MVC file controller empty I am choosing add the controller name is upload files is a controller name click add now we got the MVC file controller here file upload the very first thing when we want to dealing with the files we need the namespaces using system dot I want namespace and now here got the action result index is a is a HTTP get so I'm copying this one I'm creating the HTTP post for that at the top I need to add the square brackets HTTP post now in this index HTTP poster file base this class HTTP posted file base class it provides access to individual files that have been uploaded by a client so I'm creating the object for the file here I'm adding try and catch blocks catch copy the set of view paste here paste here if file dot content length is greater than zero string file name is equals to path dot get file name the method file dot file name now we need to store the path also string file path is equals to path dot combine method server dot map path between the double quotes 
tilt here the folder name is a files upload files upload comma file name this variable file dot save as the file path name if file is successfully saved I need to get the message on a browser view bag dot message is equals to uploaded file save successfully in a folder copy it if a selected file is not saved in a folder I have to get the message uploaded file not saved in a folder up to now we have finished the controller part go to index highlight this index one right click add view view name index leave it as it is and template also empty without model click add in the index one I'm renaming upload files I'm adding center tag here at using HTML dot begin forum the first one takes the index view in the view page which is the index and the second one is the controller name which is the upload files upload files comma form method dot post comma new enc type is equals to multi part forward slash from data I'm adding the due tax at HTML dot text box and here we have to write this file one um, new the type is file this HTML text box is a file uploader controller now I need the button control submit button I'm using the normal input type HTML submit button value save files make this as capital calling the view bag message let's build a solution here build succeeded and one more important point here we need to set the road config also go to app underscore start expand that open the road config and notice here in the controller this is a home but we have deleted the default home controller now instead of home we are using our controller name which is a upload files files 
let's build it again build succeeded index.cshtml let's check the output on a google chrome browser now here we got the designing part upload files before save the files let's check the folder in our project go to solution explorer here the folder right click open folder in file explorer here the folder is empty let's switch back to the browser now I am saving the file see here you got the files now here the file is saved successfully in the files uploader folder that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos